Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the data types. While working with any programming language, you have to know the data types. So you would know what you actually need to do. For example, here, if you can see the double quotes, okay, but when you just go down and type the same thing almost, but here, if you add it without single or double quotes and save it and if you go there and if you simply uh, you can see that you're actually getting the error right there because it's telling that unexpected world if in case I go to terminal and if I just run this you can see that the same error we got here we're getting in the terminal too what's why this is happening because this double quotes are indicating that this is in a string and there there are no double quotes so this is supposed it's supposed to be not any string if I go down and if I use the same thing again fmt print ln and if I just use here 7 plus 9 and if I just save it and if I just go there and if I just run this first I think I would get yeah I'm getting the error because of it I'm just making it commented so now it's not gonna make any error anymore I'm running the command again now it's gonna show us this 16 if I just go there and I just type print ln again and if I just use 7 plus 9 inside the double quotes just note what I'm doing here okay now the 16 and the 7 plus 9 what's the meaning and what's the basic difference between them it is now considering as an string and this is the integer and this is absolutely the string now let me first talk about the string by now then we would proceed to the next any string is a kind of text in the programming language I mean wherever you want to add the text which you don't want to subtract multiply plus minus or anything divide I mean any kind of mathematical operation you don't want to perform so you call that thing as text like this ultimately you cannot perform any kind of uh, arithmetical operation on the hello world because this is the text after all but you can program the variables we just talked about the variables a very little well, absolutely we, we have to talk about it later but on the variables you don't need you you use the english words but you don't use the you know double quotes or single quotes because they are variables they are not ultimately the text but this is the integer integer are something where you can apply arithmetical operations but if you use double quotes around the integers they won't be the integers anymore they are now be they became the string by now this is the string because it has the double quote now it's the number okay this is the number and this is the text but both are strings i mean a number can be a string after all okay and, num and a number can be an integer too so this is what happening here the string and the integer okay so I'm just going down and I'm gonna talk about the more uh, data types fmt dot print one data type is the boolean boolean is actually uh, cannot be used like this way but the boolean can be used when we uh, we just want two kind of answers here I'm going with the comments like this one okay when you want the answer to be true or false you use booleans these are actually called the, the booleans when you want the answer as true or as false you use the boolean there are more types when we talk about the go language the one type is the variables too so this one is ultimately a type a variable is the data type which can which actually has nothing which is itself nothing but can store data like uh, you can store some kind of data like var1 you can store 5 here 
now the variable has a data type its own data type is variable so you know as its name variable so now the data the, the, the value data type is integer okay so this variable will behave like an integer just go there and type the str1 and here write something like hello there okay now this variable will behave like an integer this one will behave like an integer and this one will behave like a string so why we are getting the red signs because we declared the variables and we are not using it which is actually not a recommended thing in a go language to have any unused variable anyway so this is another data type which is a which is variable okay now in the same way we have some words like array data type i'm just using the commands like this one because we didn't talk about the arrays yet anyways arrays data type the pointers data types a lot of data types but we would talk about them later in the next lecture we would talk about the integer data types so we would learn about the integers more in the next lecture stay tuned bye bye